In this video, we're going to see how to order companion mini books in HH Studio. Companion mini books are available in three sizes, square, a four by six aspect ratio size, which is two and a half by three and three quarters, as well as a four by five aspect ratio, which is three by three and three quarters inches. This will work for many of our album layouts that we have so that you can order these as a companion album with your full-size album. They must be ordered in sets of three. It is a one-piece photographic cover construction that is available in either luster or glossy finish. Each book does come with a protective vellum sleeve. You have a choice of your cover image and then you can choose a solid color for the spine and back and you do that through HH Studio. The pages are printed on either luster or glossy paper, and it is a full pano binding with a very small crease in the center of each page, and the books have square corners. So let's look at ordering these in HH Studio. First come to the book section, and then companion mini books. You can choose your paper type, either luster or the HD glossy paper. You can choose your size in either the square, vertical, or horizontal, and I'm going to do a vertical 3 by 3.75, which is the same as an 8 by 10 aspect ratio. My cover material is going to be glossy, and I'm going to do a photo cover. I'm going to start by dragging in my cover image, and then I'm going to come to the back and spine color section, click on that, and then use the eyedropper to select a cover or the color for the spine in the back. So I can come in and click around on this and choose different tones out of the image to see which one I might like best. And uh, I think I'm going to go with the one that's right there on the edge so that way it'll help blend in a little bit better. And I'll say OK and that updates that cover color. Then I just start dragging in my images. Since these were designed as panos, I'm going to drag them and drop them in the center section and that will automatically split those across the page. Once I have all the images in, I can review them. If I need to tweak any cropping, I can double click on the image. That will bring up a crop guide where I can adjust the cropping if necessary. Keeping in mind watching my trim and safety, the yellow is the safety line, the red is the trim line, and I want to make sure any critical elements are within that yellow line. Once everything looks correct, I'm going to press Add to Order, review everything on the Order tab, and then press Finalize Order to submit that to the lab for production.